hope you are and having a really lovely day today. I've been asked by you guys, some of you guys for a while to do a Disney haul, especially when I've been on trips to Disneyland Paris. I don't really tend to buy very much in Disneyland Paris anymore. I think because I go quite frequently, I'm very familiar with the merchandise they have there. I like the first two trips I did last year when I did buy quite a lot of stuff. When I've come back from Paris, I haven't really ever had enough stuff to warrant a haul. But I've been collecting Disney bits for a while now and thought I would do kind of a collective Disney haul featuring stuff from Disneyland Paris, Disney World, some gifts I've been sent by some subscribers and you guys, and just some really awesome Disney stuff that's new to me. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a t-shirt and I bought this on my most recent trip to Paris in March. Beauty and the Beast themed t-shirt. If you know me by now you know that I love Beauty and the Beast so whenever I do see something always I have to get it. I'm just obsessed. I think it's really lovely. It's from one of my favourite scenes in the film. There was no way I wasn't going to buy it. It's a weird shape though so I did get a large because it's quite square and a bit shorter in length and I kind of like longer t-shirts that cover my bum a bit so I went up a size because I wanted it to have a bit more length however that did make it quite wide. This t-shirt was 25.99 euros. During my March trip to Disneyland Paris I was very lucky to be invited to go to the Star Tours last flight to Endor event which was to commemorate the fact that Star Tours was closing for a year and going into a major refurb. That evening it was freezing cold. I was so cold that I had to buy a hoodie. It was that freezing and we were standing around outside a lot waiting for fireworks very late at night. So I decided that I needed a hoodie and there was only one shop open which was the, I think it's called Constellations. It's the shop that you have to go into when you leave the Buzz Lightyear ride and that was the only one open so I didn't have much choice but I'd actually seen this hoodie before in Paris and really liked it. I can't touch this bit because it's kind of like felt like velour material which it actually makes me cringe but the rest of it is really comfortable. It has a hood. I got it in a large because I wanted it really big and warm because I was so cold and I have worn it a lot since. I think it was between 30 and 40 euros. It wasn't too expensive. The rest of that March trip was actually quite warm. However, there was one part where I was a little bit cold and that was the first day I was there with my dad. And I've made a comment that I was a little bit cold or I wish I'd had my scarf with me. I went to go and do something, came back and he bought me a scarf and it has Minnie Mouse on it with a little white bow. I think it's really, really sweet. You can wear it reversible if you want white and red spots, but it's really sweet and he just came up and put it around my neck and I thought it was so special. I never thought I'd be in Disneyland Paris with my dad and kind of spending that time together. So for him to just treat me to this was really kind of him and I wore it a lot because it was so thin and I could tuck it under my jacket and keep warm. Sticking with the kind of warmth thing, when I was in Paris in January, it was very cold and I needed a hat. I normally live in mini ears in Disney. I just put on mini ears when I get there and I don't take them off till I leave. However, in January, it was so cold that I needed a hat to keep my head warm and I'm not a hat person because hats don't suit me. Went with this one which is a black beanie I guess style hat with a red and white Minnie Mouse bow. It was only around 17 euros it wasn't bad and I wore it pretty much the whole rest of the trip. I looked like an idiot but my head was so warm once I put this hat on I was like yes this is the answer to all of my problems. Speaking of mini ears I have a new pair which I'm a bit obsessed with. Disney World has actually upped their ear game a little bit which I think is very important because there are so many awesome ears. My favourites are my Queen Ursula ones. So they've done a new range of princess themed ones. There's Belle, Snow White, Aurora. I'm not sure who else there is, but obviously I wanted the Bell ones. My friend Rachel, who's someone that I've met through doing YouTube, she's the most kind and generous lady. She actually sent these to me after she went to Disney World recently, and I almost cried when I opened the package, because sometimes at Disney you don't know if things are going to be there forever or if they're limited edition, and I don't have any plans to go back to Disney World, sadly, so I was thinking these might not be there the next time I go, but she really kindly sent them to me, and they have a really cute picture of her with these gems and a kind of tiara. I'm so glad these these don't hurt like the standard Minnie Mouse ones do because if they did I would not be able to wear them for very long but these are very comfortable very cute and to me they're very special because obviously they're Belle. I'm going on a bit of a Belle theme now. Alyssa, my friend who is the woman behind Queen Ashley UK, one of the best things that has happened from me doing YouTube is meeting Alyssa because she's now one of my best friends. absolutely love her and the last time I saw her she gave me a Belle bouncy ball. Now this is one of those things that I've always seen in the Disney store and I'm like yeah I'll get that one day and she just gave it to me. Belle's in there and it's so sparkly and I've had to keep this away from my dog because it's the sort of thing that if he saw it he'd want it for himself. I'm such a child with things like this and I get really possessive and just want to keep it all to myself. Primark have also upped their game with princess and general Disney stuff which is great but also very frustrating because I feel the need to buy 
everything and they came up with a bell tote bag and I wasn't able to find it and then actually received two through the post one from my friends Penny and Mike who I went to Madame Two Swords with recently if you watch my weekly vlogs and if you watch my Disney World vlogs they were in my last day ones I met them in Orlando and now we're really good friends I also received one from my friend Natalie she is amazing I met her in Paris in March she has the cutest little boy that I've ever met in my entire life called Charlie he was just an absolute sweetheart and we got to go on it's a small world together and we skipped through fantasy land together it was just amazing they both sent me this bag which is great because it means I've got one to keep in the car one to keep in my bag it's a bell tote bag and it's cool because it's a little bit different she's got kind of different hair she's got a plait going through it and it kind of just looks a bit more voluminous and glam got her signature on it and it's just such a handy thing to have something very special is something that I received as a gift from my friend Lauren who has a business called canvas customs you may have seen me speak about this in a weekly vlog she creates the most incredible things she made paints shoes she gifted me these two prints that she'd drawn and painted I don't know how anyone can be this talented they're absolutely fantastic I'm obsessed they look like real life stills from the film she's incredibly talented and I'm just so in love and I need to get a frame for this one look how sparkly it is I also have three new phone cases from unbirthday designs the first one is a general princess one it's got hints of pink green which is one of my favorite colors it's just so pretty something that I think everyone would love so if you know someone that needs a present this is a great idea however if you're looking for a present for someone and you know that they have a favorite princess or character you can get character specific ones as well like this Belle Beauty and the Beast one which obviously I'm in love with it's just amazing I love the little hints like the enchanted mirror and the book and the teapot at the moment I've got a more subtle one on which is this one I really like this because I've seen these phone cases around on eBay where they have the princess just kind of standard but on birthday designs have sparkled her up for me another bell item is this iced cookie I received two of these from Jonathan I showed them in a weekly vlog I've already eaten one but I wanted to keep one to show you I've had these before from Disney World and they're a great thing to buy if you're looking to get gifts for people because they come in pretty much every character so they make quite a nice kind of personalized but not too expensive gift Jonathan also kindly sent me this coloring book which I really wanted to show because I think it's awesome it's one of those grown-up adult coloring books based on the Lewis Carroll story so it's not overly Disney but I still think it's something that any Alice fans would love. Stunning designs in different kind of levels of how difficult it might be to colour. There's also quotes from the story. I've got two kind of random-ish things from Disneyland Paris to show you. Both of these things are actually what I got from Paris in January because the Christmas January sales were on when I was there. Go after Christmas kind of the first week of January because there were some crazy good sales on. I only bought these two little things because I didn't really want to do much shopping but I could have spent a lot of money. I got this cup. It was one euro. It just says Disneyland and Paris and it has hot air balloons with Mickey on there. I have a couple of cups from Disneyland Paris. I love them. They're pretty much all that I drink out of. I have quite a few key rings on my keys. I have a Kath Kidson key fob which is quite big and easy to grab. I have a castle kind of cut out silver design from Disneyland Paris and then I have this one but sadly there was a princess that fell off and I give you three guesses which princess fell off first obviously it was Belle and it's kind of like faded a little bit so I saw this was on offer and it was only a euro again so I had to pick it up it's a pink heart design and it has four of the Disney princesses on there. Snow, Cinderella, Belle and Aurora. But what's weird about this is on the original one, this dress of Cinderella is wearing is pink. And that dress that she's wearing, I'm sure is the original dress that she wears before the stepsisters tear it up. I do need to replace the other one now that Belle's fallen off. The last few things I have to show you are actually pins. Now I'm quite big on pins. I don't do as much trading as I do buying pins just for myself that I want. But I have traded a couple of times before and it is great fun and it's something that I really want to spend more time doing the next Disney trip I go on. When I want to do pin trading I tend to buy a selection of pins in the cheapest way that I can to then trade with others. A lot of people always say to me buy pins on eBay you can bulk buy them cheap but I don't want to do that because most of those pins are fake and I don't want to encourage fake pin trading. I like to go and buy a set of pins and get the cheapest that I can find and then just kind of keep them in my bag so I can trade if I want to. I bought this one it was a Winnie the Pooh set and I think I traded Piglet away. Can't remember how much it was for this set but I think it was probably around 
12-ish euros. I get annual pass discount in Disneyland Paris, so I think I usually get about 20% off, so it wasn't that much money. So I've got three of these pins left to trade on. No offense to Winnie the Pooh characters, I just don't collect Winnie the Pooh. So if I'm in Paris and I see a cast member with a pin I want to trade for, I will use these. Like I said earlier, in March I was lucky enough to go to the Star Tours Last Flight to Endor event. I actually won tickets to go on the actual ever last ride, which was really crazy, and I never win anything, so I was very lucky to. And my friend Steve, who runs the Dedicated to DLP podcast, which I've recently been a guest on, so I will link that below because I did a podcast recording with him, which was so much fun, really great to talk about Disney and everything. He had a spare one of this pin, and he knew that I hadn't picked one up, and because I gave him a ticket to go on the last ride, he kindly gave me this pin, which was really, really generous of him. It was a limited edition one, and there was a thousand of them made. This one was to celebrate the last flight to Endor, and it is amazing. I think it's so sweet. I almost don't want to take it off the card, because obviously the card is themed as well. This is really special to me because it now holds memories of a really great evening where I got to go to a Paris press event with friends and was lucky enough to win tickets to go on the last last ride. One of the pin groups I like to collect is Disney hotel pins from hotels I've stayed in. I think that's a really special way to kind of keep track of where you've stayed and it's just a nice little souvenir. When I was in Orlando last year I stayed in Caribbean Beach Resort and I fell in love with it and top of the list of my things I wanted to buy in Orlando was the pin for Caribbean Beach however they were redoing the pin I believe so the whole time I was there there were no pins and I was really sad about it. Rachel who was so kind enough to send me the belt is sent me this one as well because I think she knew how much it meant to me. So happy to have it. It honestly means so much to me which probably seems silly for just a pin. Looking at this just makes me smile because it just instantly brings back memories from two of the best weeks of my entire life. During my most recent March trip to Disneyland Paris I got to stay in Sequoia Lodge for one night with my dad which was really lovely to stay in a Paris hotel. I'd only stayed in Hotel Cheyenne previously so I was really excited to stay in Sequoia Lodge. I tend to stay off site in Paris because it is a lot cheaper but my dad wanted to experience a Disney hotel. Sequoia Lodge was wonderful. I really loved it. So I was so excited because it meant I got to buy the Sequoia Lodge pin because I stayed there and it has Chip and Dale on it which makes it even more special. It's a gorgeous green colour with those chipmunks that I love on there and like all of the Paris hotel pins it has the key. As you can probably guess I also collect Beauty and the Beast themed pins along with everything else Beauty and the Beast themed and I actually tweeted about two pins that came out in Disney World and really kindly I've received both of them as gifts from people which is really really generous. Rachel was kind enough to send me one of them. A subscriber Jonathan was also kind enough to send me both of them and my friend Charlotte from Little Miss Cheek House also picked me up one of them so I'm really happy because it means I can put two in my pin book and wear two on my lanyard. There aren't ever really many beast pins so it's really cool that he has his own one. He does look a little bit scary but I just think it's a really cool one because he doesn't really get much of his own merchandise. The other one is so beautiful. I'm really obsessed with it and it is the Enchanted Rose in a stained glass effect. As soon as I saw this I actually was just like that is one of the most beautiful pins I've ever seen Disney do. I'm just really obsessed with them so thank you guys so much. I really really love them and I'm so glad that I've got doubles because it means I can wear them and keep them safe at the same time. My last pin and last thing to show you in this kind of crazy Disney haul is this one. I asked my friend Claire if she would pick this up for me when she was there because I think it's so gorgeous. I love this. I love the Bell and Bee on it together. I've seen some of this design before with the heart with kind of the separated bit with other characters but never Beauty and the Beast. I've now basically doubled the size of my pin collection lately. If you're into pins and you'd like to see some sort of pin video let me know. That is the end of my collective general Disney haul video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and not minded me doing it in this way. I've just never had enough stuff from trips to kind of do one video each so I thought I'd wait till I had enough stuff to show you and share with you all so I hope it's okay. Thank you so much to the people that were completely generous to gift me things or make things for me. I just I'm so grateful, I don't even really know what to say. Let me know what is top of your Disney wish list if you're off to a Disney park very soon. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!